Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my beginner's guide to crafting on Final Fantasy XIV. So hopefully you've been keeping up with your uh, with your crafting and you should be around level 30 at this point. At level 30, your guild master is going to require you to pass in another high quality turn in. This time it's going to most likely be a piece of gear and it's going to have a 70 durability instead of 40. So we're going to be doing my weaver main uh, quest to show you the, the ro same rotation that I used for the durability of 40, but it's going to be on a durability 70 item. So as for the gear, you're going to be using as whatever main hand tool is closest to 30. As for the offhand, um, you're going to use whatever is available to you. Each class will, will vary from our weaver. The next one is a level 32 offhand, so you have to make do with level 23. As for the body pieces, you're going to need a velveteen beret, a velveteen gown, a velveteen short gloves, a velveteen half apron, a velveteen bottoms, and a velveteen gaiters. Don't worry about making these high quality. The stat difference between high quality and normal quality is just a few uh, points, so don't feel you have the high qualities if you want to you can but you're not a major it's not a major bra deal breaker as for the accessories you're going to be wanting the horn earrings the silver choker the silver wristlets of crafting and the silver rings of crafting these you want to get high quality because more cp the better so you're going to have um base cp i think 274 around there as for the food we're going to be using the stone soup. So make sure you have some of that on hand and you should have a CP of 294. Also, we also want to do before you do this is you want to get all your classes to level 31. The reason for that is standard synthesis. Standard synthesis is a beefier version of basic synthesis has a CP cost of 15 this time, but the efficiency is 150%, so it's a lot stronger, and success rate is 90%. This will basically take off one progress step, and you'll be able to replace it with a quality step. So let's go ahead and show you the rotation for it. Um, don't worry about getting high quality rubber, it's not much of a difference in quality. So first you want to do inner quiet. Okay, you get it good, use it. Tricks to trade it. Steady hand. Waste not. And now we're going to do a basic synthesis. As you can see, it has now given me half of the progress that I need. Unlike basic synthesis, it probably only give you like around 30. So now we can just do one more time and then you have 100% made the item in two moves but we're not going to do that right now right now we're going to do the quality step now so i'm going to do hasty touch three times okay good so there's tricks of the trade refresh steady hand and waste not all right uh at this point since we already have half of the quality we're going to use standard touch Now we got a massive boost in our quality. So again, let's continue on Waste Knot. If you didn't get a good, just continue with the Waste Knot and then do Hasty Touch. Uh, we got another good, so let's go ahead and use Standard Touch again. And now we're at 100%. So if you didn't get goods, you would just go with um, Hasty Touch and then do uh, Standard Touch if you got a good. So we're lucky. So now we just go ahead and do Standard Synthesis to complete the item. And there you go. So instead of doing three basic synthesis to complete the item, we did two standard synthesis and saved the extra step for quality. Now, the thing is, if you want to make this a whole lot easier, we're going to be boosting Culinarian to 37. Why? Because at level 37, Culinarian gets the next best cross class ability steady hand 2 at a cost of 25 cp a 3 extra cp that, and then steady hand you'll be able to improve action success rate by 30 percent for the next five steps that means hasty touch has a 50 percent chance of failure 
with steady hand 2 you have a 70% chance no, 80% chance of succeeding. So now instead of doing 30% chance of failure, you have a 20%, which is a, a big difference. The boost culinarian to level 37. You're going to be doing all your B-stripe quests for your culinarian. You're going to do your grand company turn-ins, and then you're going to do the challenge log. This is something I forgot to mention earlier. When you unlock the challenge log in the main story quest, you'll come unlocked in Limsa Lamensa, You'll be given a category. You'll be given a challenge log, and each with a different category. The left quest in the Disciples of Hand is what you're going to be using on your culinarian. Crafting 30 items, crafting 20 high quality items, and melding five successful materia. As for the left quests, you have complete 20 left quests, and then you have complete five left quests with different level plates. What that means is, see over here the plate. This is what they're talking about. There's a different plate each time you do a different left quest. See how these two are the same and that's different? That is what they're talking about. Since these uh, crafting um, levs only have two different plates, no matter which one you're doing, there's only going to be two. So that means you're going to have to waste three out of the five on either gathering or disciples of hand um, disciples of war or magic this way when you do crafting you only need to do two plates and then you're done so make sure you do that on your culinarian so for culinarian the easiest craft is going to be the cornbread these three items here, the mineral water, the chicken egg, and the buffalo milk, you cannot get high quality. They're from the vendors only. Olive oil, sunset wheat are low level recipes, so you'll be able to make these with the low quality materials. The cornmeal is where it's going to be a little bit difficult because the cornmeal is a level 29 item, and it needs just a million corn to make. This is where gathering is going to be necessary now this is something i haven't touched upon yet but gathering is a incredibly useful tool in crafting because if you do not become a gatherer you're going to have to rely on other players to do it for you and you have to rely on the market board now the reason why you don't want to rely on the market board is because people are going to be unfair with the prices people are going to charge you more if there's a lot less on the market board and sometimes they don't give you options when it comes to quantity they might be doing stacks and you don't want stacks sometimes you might just want a couple just to get to what you want to do that's why becoming a gatherer is incredibly important you should be doing that alongside your crafting classes which i kind of forgot to men mention earlier in the series but at level 10 after you get your crafting classes get your gathering classes there's botanist miner and fisher fishers in limson lomensa botanist is in gridania and miner is in Ulda. Around level 20, the vendors stop catering to you and you're going to have to go elsewhere for your materials. So that's why pick up those three gathering classes immediately. So you're able to collect your own materials so you don't have to rely on other people. And later down the road in the expansions, things get more expensive. And so you're going to be ho thanking God that you got yourself gatherers. So make sure you pick them up right away. It's never too late to get them. So I believe at level 21 is where you will be able to unlock in the million corn, in which is that one, Camp Drybone. All right. So you'll be using the rotation I just showed you to make the uh, the cornbread. So let's go ahead and make it for the sake of the video. So I'm going to do inner quiet, steady hand. Waste not. I'm going to do standard synthesis. Seems like all my crafters 1231. We got it good, so let's go with standard touch. And now we do AC touch until they fall off. Refresh. Got it good, so standard touch. Refresh, waste not. Continue with hasty touch. All 
All right, we got it good. So let's go ahead and use standard touch. And we're done. So now we don't have enough for another standard synthesis. So we're going to use rumination to get all that back. Refresh steady hand and do standard synthesis. And there you go. We got three pieces of cornbread. So you go ahead and accept the quest. Uh, the love quest, which is going to be this one right here. You're going to get double the experience points for handing them high quality and double the gill, but you don't get double the item reward. So we're going to get some shards, which is good. And the lev person is right next to you, so you don't have to not travel too far. So we get double the points at 60,000 points of experience. And then I level up. So you're going to be doing that until level 37, and then you'll get Steady Hand 2. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure, again, get your Culinary into 37 immediately, but make sure you get everything else to level 31 at least. So this way you guys can um, benefit from Steady Hand, uh, not Steady Hand, Standard Synthesis. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, concerns you have, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help you with any questions you might have. If any of this confuses you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more Final Fantasy content. And also for the continuation of my beginner's guide. So until next time guys, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys.